questionable Wi-Fi. I finally got around to seeing uh, Children of Mars, which struck me as uh, largely kind of pointless. I think seven minutes of you see two girls having a squabble in school and a drawn out mangling of my one of my favorite David Bowie songs. Commented by some mysterious alien attacking Mars, I like guess blowing the crap out of the Utopia Planitia thing and everything else, so the entire planet. And a screenshot, you know, Admiral Picard reacts to the damn devastating. Okay, so this is just set up for Picard. And nothing that couldn't have been incorporated into the episode itself, unless, I don't know, this is just flashback stuff, I guess, really. And maybe the two characters came in and Lil show up in the show. Who knows? But it just seemed kind of like, and this necessitated its own film. Why? Really, you know? It, it, it's just more busy work. You know, you know. Uh, the, the Vulcan makeup looked a little better. I think that, you know, they're... I think it's part of the decurtsmanizing process of this whole thing, at least initially, now that Shaban's out, Kurtzman's back in charge, so expect to, you know. Apparently, the first six episodes were Kurtzman, and then. There may be a slight increase halfway through, but then a noticeable nosedive immediately afterwards, so. I have no high hopes for this whole thing because it, it, it kind of goes back to the variety thing with uh, Patrick Stewart. He, he, everyone kind of misses the point. Yeah, Star Trek has always been political, but never the politics of the day. Even going back to Star Trek, when the most pointed one they did, you know, really the most blatant one you got is uh, A Private Little War. And that's the closest you ever got to anything really on they talking about the Vietnam War. But even then, it was talking about the overall morality of the war. It's uh, going to war in someone else's country really, really having a whole lot of business. And why you do that sort of thing. Well, you have to sometimes. But there's, there's nothing in that uh, episode pointing to President Johnson or Defense Secretary McNamara or anyone of the day it, it was always political, but never topical in that sense. They, 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 they were overall morality tales thing, but it never read the politics of the day. It was the overall morality of something you know, that, that transcends any particular period. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you know, just kind of, you know, and that's the way science fiction really best handles it. Anyway. In general, not just Star Trek, but any science fiction thing, where you're trying to make, draw an analogy with a modern day, with a current day issue, is you do the overall morality. You don't, you don't do the pol politics of the day, and that's the mistake they're making here. And then you go into that variety, and, and they're they're trying to draw a direct analogy to what's happening today, and trying to make the, the Federation into something into something close to Trump's America. When thing is, it's already been set up that you know, whatever they think Trump's America, it wouldn't happen in Star Trek Universe because the you know, government isolation is the United Federation of Planets, an organization with over a hundred member planet member worlds. Isolationist. Yeah, like Gary said, how is that even you know? physically or psychologically possible. I mean, individual planets could become isolated. The entire Federation? No. It wouldn't work. It is impossible to work that way. Okay? Now, they might get defensive on a few things, but isolationist is you know kind of antithetical to the very idea of the Federation. 
So yeah, they are reacting to the politics of the day, and not and again, it's a recurring theme through starting with JJ Trek on through there. They didn't think it through. They refused to think it through because the agenda is all. They've got to get their brownie points in there. They got to you know make a that's orange man bad. You know? Nothing matters. Reality doesn't matter. You know the facts don't matter. Orange man bad. That's it. That's all they got to go with. So. Again, it was largely you know, just seven minutes of that's it, you know. We have some guys singing heroes very, very slowly and longly, and the melody is not even there. You know, and it's like, is there a point to all this? I guess than seeing a lot of pretty, you know, boom booms on on the surface of Mars. And we, you know, nice little character study. You know, I credit Kristen Beyer for the good parts of it. But the pointlessness is all ex- Alex Kirkman saying, okay, why are we watching this? And why isn't this just... You could easily fold this into a regular episode. <sighs> PayPal, Patreon down below, and the address is always... Well, this would always be... I think there may be some movement going on our... Getting a... Subsidized into a place up here, so that... They are just maybe changing, but for now it's still Captain Robert April 4046 North Golden Run Road, number 115, Winter Park, Florida, 32792. If you want to send me some prezzies, or whatever. Yeah, nor, I, I don't think those vests are coming back. They, you know, who the hell knows what they did with all the stuff that was in that truck. But if you want to redo it, I'd you know, appreciate it, because I was really looking forward to those. So. Anyway, catch you later.